10 seconds. We have a go for main engine start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the space shuttle Discovery lighting up the nighttime sky as we continue building the International Space Station. Houston Discovery, roll program. Mark Polanski confirming discovery, rolling on course for a rendezvous with the International Space Station. Speed 1,000 miles an hour, altitude one mile, downrange four and a half miles from Kennedy Space Center already. Three good engines, startling back to two thirds of the rate of thrust. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, main engine start, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis to assemble the framework for the science laboratories of tomorrow. Houston now controlling. Houston Atlantis, roll program. Roger, roll Atlantis. Atlantis's roll maneuver is complete. The uh, orbiter's in a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 137 by 36 statute mile orbit. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, go for it. Engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero and liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavour, expanding the International Space Station while creating a classroom in space. Houston Endeavour, roll program. Roger roll, Endeavour. Houston now controlling the flight of Endeavour. The Space Shuttle begins its journey back into orbit. Endeavour rolling onto the proper alignment, heads down, wings level for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit, taking aim on the International Space Station for docking on Friday. T minus 16 seconds, sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Discovery and the launch pad from acoustical energy. We have a go for main engine start. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery, hoisting harmony to the heavens and opening new gateways for international science. Discovery has cleared the tower. Houston now controlling. Roll program. Roger roll, Discovery. Discovery's roll maneuver is complete. It's now in a heads down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. T minus 15 seconds and counting. Ten seconds, we have go for main engine start. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of shuttle discovery. Combate Kudasai. Best of luck to the International Space Station's newest laboratory. Houston and Discovery roll program. Roger roll, Discovery. Houston now controlling the flight of Discovery, a man-made rising sun on behalf of Japan. Discovery on the proper alignment, heads down, wings level for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Sound suppression water system armed. T minus 10, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. And lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis, the final visit to the vision of Hubble into the deepest grandeur of our universe. Bypass across the board, scooter, no action. Houston now controlling Atlantis on its way.
atlantis on its way, all three engines now throttling down as the area begins as the vehicle passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure atlantis houston no action on the mps h2 out p houston we copy no action atlantis go at throttle up houston atlantis copies go at throttle up Sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Endeavour and the launch pad from acoustical energy. We're go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Endeavour, completing Kibo and fulfilling Japan's hope for an out of this world space laboratory. Endeavour, roll program. Roger, roll, Endeavour. This is Mission Control Houston. Endeavour. T-minus 15 seconds. The sound suppression water system has been activated. And CLS is go for main engine start. We have a go for main engine start. And we have main engine start. Two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery, celebrating its 25th birthday by racking up science and supplies to the space station. Houston now controlling the midnight ride of Rick Sterko and his crew to the International Space Station. Discovery rolling onto the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Outpost. Thirty-two seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines soon will throttle back to 72% of rated performance down in the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Three, two, one, zero, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey to shore up the International Space Station. Atlantis now on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the international outpost. 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis almost two miles in altitude, almost six miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center already, traveling 500 miles an hour. T minus 15 seconds and the sound suppression water system has been activated. We have a go for main engine start. Three engines up and ready. Three, two, one, zero. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery. Blazing a trail to scientific discoveries aboard space station. Discovery, roll program. Roger, roll, Discovery. This is Mission Control Houston. Special Discovery is rolling into a heads down position, putting it on course for 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute mile orbit, and eventually the International Space Station. throttling down to reduce stress on the shuttle as it travels through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Space Shuttle Atlantis now traveling 389 miles per hour. It is now on final approach to the Kennedy Space Center. During this point in the flight, the shuttle's descent rate is 20 times steeper than a commercial airliner. Its angle of attack more than seven times steeper. 
Now under one minute to go in Atlantis's flight. Atlantis now beginning what is known as the pre-flare maneuver. It will pull the nose up a little bit right before it uh, hits the runway. Its speed now 320 miles per hour. The gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Atlantis's nose being now rotated down toward the runway. The uh, chute being deployed. And nose gear touchdown. Space Shuttle Atlantis now comes home to the Kennedy Space Center for the final time. 25 years, 32 flights, and more than 120 million miles traveled. The legacy of Atlantis now in the history books. Go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Two, one, booster ignition, and the final liftoff of Discovery, a tribute to the dedication, hard work, and pride of America's space shuttle team. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Space shuttle now rolling over onto its back for the eight and minute ride into orbit. Discovery now making one last reach for the stars. Maximum pressure reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes supersonic. Discovery Houston, you are go at throttle up. Will Commander Steve Lindsay acknowledging the call from Capcom and Charlie Hoba as Discovery's three main engines throttle back up. Lindsay is joined on the flight deck by pilot Eric Bowen, mission specialist Al Drew, and Nicole Stott. Mission specialist Mike Barrett and Steve Bowen. Discovery's three main engines are burning fuel at a rate that would drain an average swimming pool in about 25 seconds. The engines combined with the solid rocket boosters produce more than 7 million pounds of thrust. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, we're standing by for separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. Discovery now traveling 2,695 miles an hour. It's altitude 24 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center 29 miles. Booster separation confirmed. Discovery's guidance is now converging as the shuttle's onboard computers fine-tune the flight.